Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to talk about a bit of a taboo subject. And it's something which I don't really see being commented on or written about, and that is taste and the importance of taste in photography. Now, my partner and I discuss these things at length all the time. She has a background of working for big ad agencies, and I don't, basically. And she, I, you know, I live, that was loud. I live in this little bubble of photography. And like you guys, I watch the videos, I read the articles, and we get sucked into what photographers think is important. Now, from her perspective, she's hired some big names in the past. She's collaborated and worked with some big names in the past. And the thing which matters, and this is something I've only learned in recent years, the most important thing when being a photographer, and if you want to be that good photographer, that next level photographer, where people go, we want to book this person because their work is X, Y, and Z, it's taste. Now, I know a lot of photographers who are easily as technically good as me, better, probably better technically than me, who aren't working at the same level. I also know some photographers who are nowhere near as good as me at using a camera, and are working at a much higher level. Now, yes, there's things like who knows who and networking, who your family are, who your parents are, all those little things, but they pale in significance compared to taste. The reason that the photographers who don't have the same photography skill set as me are doing better than me is because they have better taste. And this is almost in all walks of life. With the reason we, the conversation came up was because we were talking about selling stuff on eBay. And, um, and then moving on to Amazon Marketplace and the way that people, they spot a trend, they follow it. But if they don't truly have the right taste and they don't understand why people like a certain thing and they buy something similar, which isn't quite right, the business flunks, and they don't understand it. And that comes to taste. Now, in photography, it's little things. How far do we push the clarity slider? What aperture do we shoot at? You know, how do we pose the model? How do we put the food together? What do we think looks good? And that's more important than our technical abilities. Me being able to do a 50 light setup and cre recreate some ridiculous scene is irrelevant if I do not have the right taste. I do not understand what looks good and why it looks good and how to bring it all together. Now this got me thinking, how do you learn taste? How, how do you get to a point where you understand what looks good? And I think a lot of it comes down to having the right friends who are gonna tell you that looks ridiculous, that looks awful. You know, you're dressed like a numpty. What are you wearing? You, you look horrendous. And that's not saying that you've, you know, have to follow fashion. Absolutely not. Fashion and taste are two very different things. But I think it's important to be aware of understanding what looks good, not what lens is sharp, which preset works, but what looks good. What is it that people want to get from your images? Remember that we're not photographing for photographers, but rather we're photographing for people to consume our images. And impressing everybody on 500 pixels or Flickr or whatever the latest photo sharing site is. It's a meaningless accolade. If you go into any photography forum and look at the most popular photographers amongst photographers, they won't be successful. If you then go into any public bought medium and you look at the photography work there, it won't be what they think is good. They'll think they're better than that, but what they fail to understand is these people have taste and they don't. And it's not so much of an insult because they're quite good. Oh, you know, you, you, it could be a real insult saying you have no taste. And that is an insult. But this isn't meant in that particular way. This is that you need to focus on what's important. You need to learn what's important. And the only way that photographers become good at what they do is not by learning photography. Obviously, you need to work a camera, but it's about learning their subject. And that's sort of like the dirty secret in photography. It's not about what you know with photography, whether you know which lens is sharp, whether you have the best kit, what you understand about lighting, diffraction, all these things are minor icing on the cake moments. The importance is understanding your topic and your subject and people who consume that subject. And that's not literally like people who eat food, I need to understand them. I need to understand people who are interested in seeing food visually and what it is that they draw from that and understanding what they want from life, what they want to, you know, their aspirations, what they find aspirational or what they, you know, what really conjures up some sort of nostalgia for them. All these things here, pulling it together, the way that we source the props, the way that we design the backgrounds and then the way that it all comes together, choosing the right stylist who has the right taste for that particular thing. They can really understand what the client's getting at and just really like pull the whole thing together as a whole into some sort of, it's like a, it's like a like medicine bowl, medicine bowl, mixing bowl. It's a bowl. This, I don't know where this analogy is going, but we've got a bowl. We're pouring everything into it. And what we have to do here is make sure we have the right ingredients. And then at the very end, the baking of the cake, which is now what this metaphor has become, 
that's taking the picture. That's understanding the recipe, putting it out the oven, that's it, putting it out there. But you have to have the right ingredients and it's a tough one and you need to be brutally honest with yourself. I know that some of the stuff that I like, it just doesn't work. It's not there for the public. The way that I shoot portraits, I have no taste in that. That is not me. But the way that I shoot food, that's where I have a good taste. That's where I have a good understanding of what the consumer wants, of what's being ingested by the public. I really understand that. And that's because I've learned food. And that's through experiences. And then also through going, I want to do this. I need to understand my topic. And just digging down that rabbit hole until I really get it. So for me, taste is everything. And having the right taste, understanding style, not necessarily fashion, but style, and understanding how it pulls your subject together. If it's cars, if it's interiors, if it's macro photography, it, it relates to every form of pretty much every workforce or every type of work you can do. And I think it's something which we really forget in photography because it is a technical job. It is a technician's skill set. And sometimes you have to just remember that as well as all these lights and cameras and all this junk we have around us, the real important thing is the subject matter and how we portray it and how we see it. I hope that's of use to It's a bit of a different video to usual. If you are enjoying these and you want to see more of these sorts of videos, do let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next time.